Hi, this is Bob. Been working on amateur radio equipment now for 56 years. Built my first radio when I was nine years old. It was out of popular mechanics with a little one tube radio. Anyhow, I started uh, repairing uh, radios and televisions when I was age 13 and worked in the TV repair business for a while. And I'm working on this IC211 and I thought that I should uh, elaborate a little more on uh, cleaning of the connectors and uh, repairing the connector problem. I was really amazed that the connectors appeared to be crimped perfectly and the wire in the connector is nice and clean and yet it was not making a good connection. But that was the problem and it has cured the problem since I soldered those. So I wanted to show you how to do that. Now the connector on the IC211 is a white connector. This is a reddish brown. It's just the same kind of connector but just a different color. And to take these pins out there's a little tab right here. You push on the tab and at the same time you pull on the wire and it comes out. Now that one there I already had loosened so I could demonstrate because you have to get them just right to get them out and sometimes they're a little difficult. And take them out like that and then you can take your little screwdriver, just a little jeweler screwdriver, and you can pull this back like that. Then you can get in there with your soldering iron. This soldering iron's not turned on, but you can get in there and you can heat that right there where the wire comes underneath that. Heat that a little bit and then apply a teeny teeny bit of solder, just a tiny bit of solder right to that point and solder that wire in there. And like I say these things look like they're crimped absolutely perfect but there is a little bit of tarnish has developed between the wires and that connector pin itself right here and it's a bad connection. So this is what I've run into with the uh, IC211 connectors and I thought it was so unusual and such a funny weird little problem that I should present it to you here and show you how I fixed it. So I soldered each one of those. Now that was on connector J2 I did that and that was the only connector that was acting up. There are a lot of other connectors on there. I didn't do all of them and I didn't do all of them because I was afraid I might mess something up and cause myself more trouble trying to solder all those than I would in just repairing the one. So I just repaired the one that I had found that was defective. The other thing I didn't go into talking about this is cleaning the encoder disk in the IC211 and to clean the encoder disk this is thin this is thin pipe cleaner you get at a craft store real small stuff and it's all fluffy I dipped this in alcohol I slid it in between the encoder disk and the circuit board where the sensors are and I rotated the disc and I moved this back and forth dipped in alcohol and I did that two or three times on both sides of the disc you have to kind of wiggle it to get it in there don't force it just wiggle it and move it around you get those sensors clean get the little LED lights cleaned in there and then rotate the disc and clean the disc and then blow it out and I use a uh, little air compressor that's commonly used for inflating air mattresses to blow that out and uh, that's a real handy gadget to have on your workbench so I'm not able to show all that stuff I've got a macro lens on this camera and the cameras permanently fixed here on a, a little stand but I, I just wanted to tell you what I did to those connectors to uh, to reestablish that connection and what a strange problem that was and hard to find too spraying some freeze mist on this connector uh, caused it to make connection and the radio would start working and I was sure it was the pin soldered into the circuit board that was bad it was not it was these little pins in here where they are crimped on the wire it's really weird so that's it guys uh, just wanted to show you that and elaborate a little more on what the problem was 73's and good DX